I've got a quick movie today on how to read QR codes. QR codes are like those barcodes they scan at the grocery store. They can be used to uniquely identify the item they're on, but they're commonly used in education to point to URLs and other information on the web. I've seen them used in treasure hunt style projects, in digital and mobile learning environments as a way to keep students engaged, and anywhere you want a link to something in print. We even use them at conferences. Just like the grocery store, you need to have a reader in order to scan the QR code and find the site it's pointing to. Fortunately, any mobile device running the iOS, Android, or BlackBerry operating systems that has a camera can scan QR codes with the assistance of an app. I'll be using the iOS running on an iPhone to demonstrate this. The first step is to find your scanner app. I use ScanLife on the iOS, which is free and easy to find by either going to getscanlife.com in your browser, or by searching for ScanLife in the App Store and then downloading it. Once it's on your device, tap ScanLife to launch it. You'll see some brief directions, but it's pretty easy. ScanLife will activate the camera on your device, and you just need to get close enough to the QR code you want to scan so that ScanLife can read it. Once it recognizes the code, it'll give you a little chime and point you to the location referred to by the QR code. This one takes me to Atomic Learning's homepage. This function is affected by all the same factors that affect photos taken with your device's camera. So if the light is really bad or the code is too crumpled or folded to be read, it won't work. I've been able to scan QR codes on all kinds of materials though, from t-shirts to product packages to QR codes on a projection or a computer monitor. So just make sure your fingers are out of the way, which is a big problem for me anytime I use any kind of camera, and you should be fine. Happy QR coding!